So far, every task that we have executed has completed successfully. Now, in real life, this may not be the case always. Sometimes, errors will happen. For example, maybe we wrote wrong the URL, so we have a 404 here, and then we may get an error. Let's see an example of this. I will write a 2 here, changing this URL, which means that this is not the URL from our web API, and so we're going to get a 404. But in order to get an exception, we will have to say response, ensure success status code, so that if we get a 404 not found error, then we are going to throw an exception. Let's see what happens. Let's press Ctrl F5 to run our application. We have our win forms here, and I will click on start. And as you can see, we immediately get a 404 not found. Now, this is bad user experience. Your users should not see this. So what can we do? Well, as always, we can use a try catch. So let's do that. Let's click on quit. And I will come here. And I will say try here. And I will put this here. And then I will say something like catch. And I will catch a HTTP request exception. And then I will say something like message box dot show. And I will say X. And then I will say message box dot show x dot message and i will move this from here to here and now let's see what happens let's press ctrl f5 to run our application and now let's write something here and i will click start and as you can see we got this message here that says that we got a 404 nevertheless this is different from having an unhandled exception in our application here we completely control what was going to happen if we get an exception. Something that you need to keep in mind is that if you don't await the task, then the exception will not be thrown in this method. Let's see that. Let's remove the await from here, just as an experiment. And I will comment this out. And now I will run the application. And then I will write Felipe here, and I will click on start. And it seems like nothing happened. What is going on? What is going on is the following. When I click on the button, then this line of code gets executed, and this one, and this one, and then this one, which means that we go here, and we know we get a 404 here, so here, an exception gets thrown, but the exception actually gets encapsulated in the task. The task is wrapping the exception. And how do we unwrap the exception? by using await, which means that this task that we have here is going to have an exception, and only when we await the task is that we will uncover the exception, thus throwing it. And if we never await the task, then the exception will never be thrown, and so this line of code, this block of code, will never get executed. And because this never gets executed, we go to this final line of code and the loading GIF is turned invisible, which means that just like in sequential code, we can catch exceptions by using a simple try catch block. But if we never await the task, then even if we have an exception, the exception is not going to be thrown. So if you want to be notified about the exceptions that you may have, you need to await the task.